Hannah from Yarnalina and today we're going to be making a knit summer bolero. First you're going to need I am brand yarn wool ease in the color blue heather. So you're going to need two skeins of wool ease. And you're also going to need a four millimeter knitting needle as well as a 15 millimeter knitting millimeter knitting needle. You're also going to need scissors and a yarn needle. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're first going to start off with a slip knot for the ribbing. So you're going to leave a long tail for your long tail cast on. Make a slip knot by making a loop and pulling the working yarn connected to the cake up. Then with the, the yarn end facing towards you, you're going to grab your knitting needle. And for my size of small, I will be casting on a total of 28. So for your the number of cast-ons that you should have will be linked in the written pattern in the description below. I'm going to make a check mark with the tail holding towards you. Next to your thumb and the one connected to the cake in your other finger. You're going to loop your needle underneath your thumb and around your other finger. Underneath your thumb and over. Underneath and over. Then you're going to cast on, for my size is small, I will be casting on 28. After you cast on the total amount of cast ons, you're going to turn your work. Then for our ribbing, we're going to have a two by two rib. So you're going to knit two and purl two. So inserting your needle from down to up, you're going to knit down to up, knit. And for pearls, you're going to loop your yarn forward and from top to down, You're going to continue working your two knits and two purls for your ribbing. Depending on your desired length for your sleeve cuffs, you can work until your desired length, whether it's 20 rows or any shorter than that. For my size of small, I will be working a total of 14 rows. So for your total amount of rows, you can reference the written pattern link below. So now that we're done with the ribbing, we're going to transfer onto the chunky needle. So we're going to have an increased row and it will be a knit stitch and an M1R stitch, so an increase. So you're first going to make a knit stitch and finding the gap between the two stitches, you're going to loop it through and make a knit stitch. Then you're going to knit one and make one again by finding the gap between the two. Then you're going to continue your way across. So now that we're done with the cast on row, I marked the row one since, since this is a two row pattern for the ribbing stitch. It, it better marks in case you get confused between row one and row two because they are quite similar in, in the type of stitches that they have. So for the first row, we're going to start off with two knit stitches. And now for the rest of these stitches, you're going to repeat a pattern of purl one and knit three until the last three stitches. So, purl. So 
So for the last three stitches, you're going to repeat the pattern of purl one and knit two. And then you're going to turn your work for row two. For row two, you're going to start with a purl stitch. And then you're going to repeat the pattern of knit three and purl one until the end of your row. So after you're done with the row two pattern, you're simply going to repeat the pattern for row one and row two repeatedly until your desired length for your for your um, entirety of your arm and half of your back. Since you're going to make two pieces of these and sew them together, so it lands, so it's together for your back. So you're going to make two panels. For my size of small, I will be making a total of 96 rows, including these rows. So for a total of 96 for my size of small, and I'll be making two whole panels of this before I come back with you guys for the assembly. After you're done with your 96 rows or the certain number of rows that you have for your size, we're now going to cast off. So first you're going to make a knit stitch and another. Now with two stitches on your working needle, you're going to insert your needle underneath the two loops and knit it off. Then you're going to knit another, repeat the same by inserting your needle underneath each two loops and knitting it off. And then you're going to do the same for both of your sleeves. After you're done casting off, you're simply going to snip the yarn, leave a long yarn tail to sew together the sleeves and tie it off. And now we're going to move on to the assembly. Once you have the two panels for the assembly, you're going to sew together the two edges together for the full back panel. So you're going to sew the two sleeves together and as for an individual sleeve, you're now going to sew together two thirds of the sleeve. So for this full half, not counting the um, not counting the cuffs, you're going to sew together two thirds of the sleeve while leaving a gap here so it's not tight around the armpit. Unless, um, unless you want to make it less um, loose and want to make it more tight around your arms and your back, you can make it around three fourths. But I'm going to sew together the sleeve panel to around two thirds while sewing together the back panel. So now I'm going to sew it together.
And after you're done sewing the sleeves and the back together, you're done with your knit chunky summer bolero. The free written pattern is linked in the description below on the Yarnalina blog. And make sure to subscribe and like for more knit and crochet content as this on the Yarnalina channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!